Hey guys, today's gonna be a big old recruiting drive. Recruiting all the different fighters in the game, and also trying to find all the different little story elements you can do. Uh, just a quick word before we begin, a lot of this is gonna require high reputation. And you wanna know the best way to get high reputation? Well, it's pretty simple. I'll show you. After the story plays out here, and I skip it, of course. The best way to get reputation is to run yourself into the wall over and over and over. See, because you gain reputation by getting knocked down, by taking damage, and also by, and here's the key, you also get it by killing all the people in an area, or making them run away, one or the other. So you gain reputation points. Now this, this is not a, uh, actually a number-based thing that you can see. It's invisible. So you kind of have to just, uh, I must have hurt a lot. You uh, basically just have to uh, work at it and get your rep really high. And for some of the people, you got to get it really high really early. Like who, you might ask? Well, all right, here's the first encounter. And what he says to you at the start indicates whether your honor and high reputation is, is good enough for him. Yep, this is it. He'll probably join us now. Who? Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. And no, you're not. You're actually easily the weakest. The weakest. The weakest of them. Show me your moves. Show me your boobs! Oh, Captain Falcon. Ridiculous. And yes, you really are pathetic. And probably one more will do you. No, oh, maybe one more after that then. Jeez, he's taking more than I thought he would. All my life, people treated me badly. Aww. I felt like everyone hated me so much. <laughs> anyway. It turns you into a twisted little guy. Maybe. And sometimes you can answer different stuff, and they'll still join, but I'm just going to say yes to make sure I get them. Like, no reply, maybe go, yeah, man, you're cool. So he's going to join us, and he'll now be all touring with us, and we've now got a zombie. Sweet! All right, here's the first encounter, and what he says to you at the start indicates whether your honor and high reputation is, is good enough for him. Yep, this is it. He'll probably join us now. Ooh, oh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. And no, you're not. You're actually easily the weakest. The weakest. The weakest of them. Show me your moves. Show me your boobs. Oh, Captain Falcon. Ridiculous. And yes, you really are pathetic. And probably one more will do you. Oh, maybe one more after that then. Jeez, he's taking more than I thought he would. All my life, people treated me badly. Aww. I felt like everyone hated me so much. <laughs> anyway. It turns you into a twisted little guy. Maybe. And sometimes you can answer different stuff. And they'll still join, but I'm just going to say yes to make sure I get them. Like, no reply, maybe go, yeah, man, you're cool. So he's going to join us, and he'll now be all touring with us, and we've now got a zombie. Sweet! But you know what's better than one zombie? Something amusing for you. Now that I have cleared this out, here comes uh, Rocco for a rematch. Let's see what he's got to say. He runs away. Unless you attack him, he just disappears. But surely Moose will be braver. So let's deal with the homeboys and see if Moose has anything to add to the festivities here. Alright, you guys have to go down. Seriously. No one likes you guys. Freaking homeboys. Just going down in a heap. Hey, who said you could punch me, homeboy? I'll bounce you like a freaking tennis ball. With my fists... That should take care of them. All right, Moose, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> hey, Turk, how's it going? Little confession, I couldn't get this to work with Blade in my party, but you can do this with Blade in the party, because I've done it before with Blade in the party. Anyway, let's kick his ass. The old-fashioned way. Slowly. And I have been powering my uh, character up a little bit. I've been making a few trips to the mystery shop. However, the most economical way to power up is indeed the music store. That's the best way to do it by a mile. So make use of the music store. If you want to raise your toughness, listen to emo music. 
Anyway, back on point. Of course I am. Oh, that's too bad. Which is honestly too bad because Turk is awesome. Wait till you watch this guy clean the next screen for us. Yeah, I'll forgive you. He is indeed a speed demon and the guy can fight. Love Turk on the team. Alright, alright. Let's go kick some ass. Hey gamers. Oh, jeez, I, I talk you up and then you get uppercutted with a shuriken, no less. Come on, who wants a piece? No? No one? Um, Turk, where the hell are you? There he is. See? He just warps in out of nowhere and destroys people. It makes him such a good ally to have, unlike Blade, who is not near as powerful. Hey, really? I can't believe that actually went like that. Hmm. Craziness. The reason we're here is because we're going to next recruit uh, Mojo. And typically if you can get Turk, you'll automatically get Mojo on the next screen because your reputation should be high enough. And uh, I'm not sure why the, the whole Turk thing didn't work out. It's a shame, but what can you do? Gamers roll. Sure they do. Actually, they do. What am I talking about? Really? You need to know the reason? Are you that nosy or what? Alright, if you need to. You should really drop that weapon there, uh, Turk. Then again, if he has a weapon, he's less likely to interject here and screw up my pattern. So, good for him. This really is the easiest way to beat anybody in this game. You just keep them completely off balance. The only problem is later on they're so tough you can't knock them down with one good set of kicks. Well, to a point, anyway. Take that, jerk. There we go. You gonna join up, are ya? Oh, well, are ya now? Now, you can also recruit Thor, but if you have any of the zombies in your team, he won't join. So when we get Thor, it'll be without any of these guys on the team. Sure thing, Mojo. I definitely would. I feel good about it. Let's, come on, stop talking and stand up. Let's go, boys. We got ourselves a posse now. They're going to kill themselves, aren't they? Yep, they are. Good work, guys. Let's go talk to Thor. And he says you recruited one of my zombies. I actually got two of them. Thank you. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's good to know. Oh, you and your hyper guard. And your stupid diving attack. I wonder if they killed themselves yet. Probably. Knowing these idiots. Holy God. <laughs> That attack went really far. What the hell was that? He's making this really hard on me. Oh god. Pick him up. Thank you. Holy god. Man, he's a lot tougher than I remember him being. Anyway, now that we've seen that he refu he's all like, Oh, you took my zombies. I'm pissed off about it. We can move on with our lives. Alright, guys, and look at this. If you have zombies with you, Otis shows up to help out the Dragon Twins. What jerks. He doesn't have a thing to say because I just whipped his ass like two minutes ago. Alright, fine. My helpers are not going to come help, so I'm just going to do the reverse chain whip of death. Because that's a good plan. Oh, that finally got me. That actually worked way better than it had any right of working. Come on, let's just destroy them. Yeah! Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot for the help, Turk. <laughs> Stupid ass. Eat it, jerky. Okay, Otis, thank you. I'm whipping, uh, I was, whip sorry, Mojo's the one with the red hair. Turk is the one I was just trying to whip. Alright, and Otis is the last one left. Surprising, he is the weakest of the bunch, but he also can guard like a mother. Come on, get up. Since I, I'm not actually going to be saving my progress here, I'm just uh, screwing around. Oh no. That's sad. It did indeed, you stupid jerks. <laughs> says you and Otis is long gone there's nothing to say to him and here's what happens if you come up onto the rooftop with zombies only I do indeed remember you you're a jerk Simon. 
Indeed they did. Now this hasn't changed at all. Not good for that. Yes, I can. <laughs> and bam, there goes the end of your zombies. So if you show up with only zombies, you lose them. Unless you just run right on in and smack him in the face and stop the conversation. Because that way he doesn't have time to kill them and you get to keep everybody for the fight. And if you're not saving, it's it's an easy way to not lose any, uh, or get foul player respect points against you. Anyway, how about we move on to another uh, group of fighters and see what we can find. For this one, even though I'm using the Alex file, we're going to play on the Ryan file. And you're about to see why. This is the only character I find recall that's unique to Ryan. There's only one for each of them that's unique, and they get them both early. Hey, who said you could do that? That's a jerky thing to do. I don't like you anymore. Anyway, we're just going to ignore the gangs for now, and we're just going to move on with life, because we don't care so much about uh, any particular story here. We're just trying to get on to the next group. Now, who do we get here? But Rick. It's about time indeed. That guy is one ugly mugger. He uh, definitely missed a few... Uh, Two branches in the in the tree, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. And you can say yes, and he joins up. You know it, baby. So let's see what he's got for skills. He's a kicker, that's for sure. Decent stamina, willpower for fighting a guy early in the game. Now I can't remember what his special technique is. Let's see if he'll show us. Oh, there it is. He does that, like, kind of a... He does kind of the, the Starman flip kick from pro wrestling, if you will. Not quite the same, but, uh, similar. Hey. No! Oh, right in the face! Oops. <laughs> Hit my own partner. <laughs> Whoops. Nicely done. He kicks them across the screen, too. It's awesome! Here's Rex. Hey, Rex. Maybe you want to join us this time? Yeah, he's going to want to join us this time. Good for Rexy boy. Indeed we are. Sure you can, Rex. Sure you can. Excellent. However, these are the stats for old Rexy boy. As you can see, despite getting him late in the game, he's not a great fighter. Let's go see what his technique is. I can't remember what that is, to tell you the truth. Let's see if we can get him to fight some cowboys here. I said, I love how your buddy looks like he fights for the Cowboys. He doesn't, though. His, oh, he has that big kick. That's what he has. It's anyone on the ground, he'll just wind up and boot them. It's actually kind of cheap, truth be told. And he's the one that won't join you if you're being cheap. Go figure. Oh, that kick. Oh, oh God. No, Rex, he's already dead. Anyway, if you don't want Rex, you can do this instead. This time when Rex shows up, you refuse to let him join you. That's the first step here. Yeah, 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 I am. You want to join me? Well, too bad. Uh, no. What? You don't want help? I love this. You're so OG. <laughs> You're so original gangster. <laughs> or old school gang. I don't know. Something about gangsters anyway. Laters with a Z. You're hardcore. Anyway, you leave this screen, and you come back over here, and after you whip everybody, the rejects again. Didn't you guys learn your lessons last time? guess not. You don't see the rejects a whole lot, though. They're perhaps the rarest outside of the entrees. So weird I'd see them two in a row like that. You know, that's actually the gang he's from, that I look at it. Well, not quite. It's closer than the cowboy colors, though. Alright, fall down already. Come on, Stewie. This time, Ted shows up. He's... Man, this is the, the, the derp team, if ever I saw it. <laughs> oh my god. But, meh. If I hang with you... Of course you can. Definitely. Join up. And here's what you get for him. As you can see, he's not a lot better than Rex in the punch and kick and weapons, but he's got better defense, better toughness, a lot of stamina, and some willpower. I can't remember what his technique is either, truth be told. I suppose I could check these things other than just letting him punch people. Go drill some internationals with your great skills. No, don't, don't. No, no, dude. No, that's a wall. Don't walk into a wall. Attack somebody. Okay, he's just feeling his way into this, I guess. Okay, seriously? 
This is the worst fight I've ever seen. I, I'm ignoring them. My other partner's doing flips. Oh, wait. He, you know, you know the little guy's gonna do something really cool. Come on, Marge. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're terrible. They're not even looking at you. Attack them. There you go. <laughs> he grabs them and chucks them around like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from Team NT4. Could you, could you, could you? Love it. Such a good technique. Anyway, on to a new set. So next up, you go to fight Turk. And you let him do his full talk, and you're going to beat his ass. And then you're going to come back and beat his ass a second time. And you're going to come back and beat his ass a third time. And then you're going to come back and beat his ass a fourth time. And then you have to raise your reputation to a level equal to what uh, he'll join at, which is about, from what I understand, 70 to 80 points. Since you can't see your point totals, you're going to have to feel it out and just kind of figure where you're at. And once you think you've run into a walls enough time, I recommend going back towards the warehouse where Moose hangs out. Then you're all ready to come back and fight him again, which results in... Here I am beating Turk for the fifth time in a row, and if my reputation's high enough, his f he, someone's gonna show up here. His friend is gonna show up. Let's see if it works. This is one of the hardest ones in the game to get to work for you properly. Not gonna lie about that. It's a pain in the ass. And I think this is the right message. Yes, it is. Because normally he'll just say, you can't pick on him, and he'll start a fight with you, and you're going to beat both of them at the same time. However, in this case, you can answer, uh, if you answer yes, Jesse's going to join you. And that's pretty sweet. He lost his way. Yeah. He still knows he's a speed demon. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. And this is probably one of the hardest ones to get to work in your favor, because that reputation thing is a real, just horrible thing to get set up. And here's the best part. If you do it this way, you'll get Jesse, and you'll get Turk. So let's go see what we've got here for our boy, uh, Jesse. As you can see, he's right. He really isn't much of one. His special technique is a Grand Slam, which sounds great until you look at his weapon skills. He's really not that great of a fighter. So it's not really even worth getting him, but he's one of the hardest ones to get. Go figure. All right, Thor, you're next on the list. Your rep's got to be very high for Thor, and you have to have no zombies in tow. And if he says this, I think this means he's going to join me. And getting Thor is going to open up a really neat little sidebar in the game. We'll see if we can get it to, to work for us here. Anyway, Thor Battle Ahoy. Of course, now, he's, now that he's disarmed, holy god. He's a lot more dangerous when he's disarmed. It's better to have him brass knuckles on him. Of course, he's just going to spike me in the face. Holy God, he's being even tougher than normal. I'm going to have to heal up here. Thanks a lot, Thor. What did I ever do to you? All right, the whole turn. Hey, dude. Stop guarding. Stop being a jerk. Fall down. He's got to be careful he doesn't fall into the pit. I don't know if that would affect it or not. Probably would, though. Come on. Come on. That's right. I can outsmart you any day of the week. Of course, will I actually do it? That's the question. Holy God. Stop, guard. Stop. No, no, no. I'm a freak. You're the one playing defense extraordinaire man here. There we go. Get up. I probably shouldn't have kicked him when he was down. Again, I sh probably should have done that. <laughs> there we go. Let me join you. Can you handle it? Oh, I think I can handle it. So this is going to open up quite the sidebar for us. And we're also going to recruit... We're actually going to show you the team I most enjoy using in this game. But anyway. We are not going to bother with Alex today. We're just going to ignore him. No, we're good. They are indeed... Of course it's all on me. Who else would it be on? Anyway, we're just going to quickly go over here and let her do her speech. And then we're going to go do a bunch of backtracking. One is we got to visit Shell again at the, uh, the mall just on the other side of the factory, but we have to go even further back than that. We're going to head to the waterfront mall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you do. Thank you. Anyway, you'll join me once I am back at the waterfront mall. As soon as you walk in here, the music starts for battle, and you'll find yourself 
another member of the plague, Titus. Er, I'm Titus. Duh. He's got an attitude, this guy. <laughs> See? He's got a big game. Talk's a big game anyway. And now he's gone. So now we can start trekking back. And you'll join me next up at... So after you've beat Ivan Popov, you come back to this area here, and you want to clear all the enemy out. Which is fine, except it's the damn locals, my least favorite gang in the game. They're not even close to the toughest ones, I just don't like them. And for those that are wondering, this technique I'm using, I may have already showed it to you, and if I have, my apologies, because I've been shooting this over several days, is the uh, Acro Circus, which is the most broken thing in the game. You're invincible when you're rolling in that ball. So basically, it's just a huge cheat to use it. And it's, it, it just runs your foul play meter up something wild. It's like, it's actually more broken than uh, Slick's move called the Slick Trick. Come on, die already. Alright, seriously guys? Oh, here was the dragon uppercut them. Anyway. Now that they're gone, here's Titus again. No, you don't? Oh, I'm sure. Bye. What a jerk. Let's go cheap here. Cheap. Killing guys. Anyway, yeah. Let's just clear everybody on out. I said everybody. That includes you. Oh, dude, that was just cruel. And here comes Tex. No, you won't? I reckon I'll join. He won't always join you, but most of the time he'll offer. And this is my favorite team to have together. Mainly, just not only for the colors, but these are three excellent fighting characters to have on your side. Here comes the plague. Oh, it, it gets conf You should come in here with a bunch of zombies and fight the plague. That's always the most exciting thing you can do in this game. You have no idea who you're trying to hit. It's, it's just, it's fantastic. You're dead. <laughs> At SARS. I love it. I love how SARS is in there because that's when the whole SARS dealio went off in Toronto, if you remember, and Asia and all that. So, just kind of funny that that's one of the, the names of the plague. Holy God, guys, you're just vicious. And by the way, if uh, Tex has a stick, he is a crazy fighter to have. And yes, they're going to show up with their triple set again. Of course, my team's over here knocking their heads against lockers. <laughs> this is the brain trust I picked to join me. Fan-freaking-tastic. You got the wrong one, uh, Tex. Oh, they all went down to my wicked chain of doom! Oh, you actually knocked him on top of the locker. That's funny. Oh, Otis, that must have hurt. Oh, Otis, that must have hurt. We're just fighting as cheap as all get out here. Because, in case you can't tell, when you get this many awesome fighters with all the crazy techniques they have, it just turns into a freaking, you know, free-for-all. It's awesome. There we go. That's a shame. It did indeed. It failed. Just like everything else in your miserable existence, suckers. Oh, it will begin upstairs. And actually, I'm going to show you Slick, because there's a slight difference when you come in with a full team, as you're about to see. Let's go, guys. Let's go talk to Slick. Look at this team I've assembled. Pretty badass, not going to lie. Even though it looks like Tex is staring directly at me. He's, like, just looking at me. His eyes even seem to follow me. That's kind of worrying me a little bit. Anyway... Let's just whip my chain for a bit while he just yaks his brain out. Yeah, is that true? Yeah. I love this. You call this one-on-one, -on -one, and he won't kill off Thor, by the way. He doesn't have that power. I should get partners, too. Bam! And look at that. Here come the twins and Otis again. So it's now a four-on-four -four battle. And we're just going to work him and keep him in the air while everyone else works against... Uh, works against the other guys because we don't want to let him get loose because he not only has acro circus he also has that slick trick as we've discussed it can make for a messy battle sometimes you know technically I should be helping them a little more than I am because 
the twins and stuff can do a lot of damage. But if I keep Slick out of the running, it'll... Oh, God. Speaking of the twins, Magic Kick, go! All right, one's down already. One of the twins. It's funny, Otis tends to live longer than the twins. I guess it's because he has defensive capabilities. There goes the other twin, and Otis is still kicking, of course. And uh, Slick is down before Otis. That's funny. Bitch. <laughs> Whee! Rolling around! Anyway, just to give a little thought on the ending there, um, the ending doesn't change, but you remember it said that it was all about to change and the class president was about to, to seize power. I get the suspicion the sequel is going to be set up with Titus being the bad guy and he was the president of the student council, but... <laughs> oh, poor Thor. As enemies. That's sad. So I guess you do get a slightly different ending depending on who's with you. Interesting. I wasn't aware that actually happened. But anyway... Without with this horrible, horrible, mean thing about to be said, <laughs> we're going to sign off today on this bare thought of recruitment. The only thing I've never been able to do in this game is meeting a character by the name of Ginny or Pink. I'm not sure what name the character goes by. Uh, I think it's Pink. It has to do with fighting Benny and Clyde over by the sauna. And if you have a high enough reputation and you meet them, she'll show up and you can either answer, she'll say, you want my help? And you can say yes. She'll say, okay, I'll help you later. And she sometimes will show up in River City High saying that she rescued Cindy for you. The other one is that uh, if you say, don't know, she'll uh, give you $1,000. So it's just a neat little sidebar thing. Not a huge deal. Can't recruit to fight or anything like that. So I've never done it myself, but I've read that it exists. Anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow as we conclude this series. Yeah, there's even more to come still. Oh, my God. Craziness.